Here's a first for the Woodend Barn podcasts, an interview with a pair of socks from the comedy act, the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre. And I have one of the socks on the line now. Mr Sock, you're coming to Bankery to Woodend Barn on Saturday the 26th of March. Yeah, we have no idea how we're going to get there. We've got as far as Aberdeen. That much we've got worked out. Do you walk? Beyond that, we may have to walk. (laughs) Do you wear sandals with your socks? Uh, we mean we have roller skates. Do you think that's going to get us there? <laughs> what we do is we inform, educate, and entertain. It's, a, it's essentially it's essentially an educational show. It is not shut your face. <laughs> you try to turn it into some sort of comedy show. What you find is that one of us writes the show, and the other one tries to ruin it for everybody else involved. And we, we do... We do um, television programmes because we're trying to prove that we could do anything to be on the telly. So you think, you think yourself personally now, you think of any kind of telly, and I bet we could do that. Go on, have a go. What do you like on the telly? Um, Antiques Roadshow. Antiques Roadshow is one of the many things that we haven't thought of anything to do. <laughs> so I'm going to go away now, I'm going to write something for the Antiques Roadshow, all about some little old biddy bringing along a... a chest of drawers and a chipped mug from Princess Diana's funeral, and we'll see if we can make something funny about that. How's that sound? <laughs> I, like, I like the sound of that. Now, look, you have a, you have a collaborator called Kev F. Is oh, he's he... around here somewhere. Can you go and get him, please? I'll he's the one who's making the chair creak, I think. I'll just go get him. Okay, yeah, thank we'll you. Later, eh? Yeah, okay. Good luck with your act on Saturday. Yeah, hello. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Kev, I've just been you... handed a phone by a sock. Again, how he does that, I've no idea. A sock holding the phone and writing down with a pencil at the same he's, he's now he's multitasking you're sharing a flat or a house there with, with two socks it's actually uh, a uh, studio right now I'm looking at the set where the socks film all their YouTube videos mm-hmm. they've got about 350 videos on YouTube you are a kind of a, a media star already aren't you I mean you, you, you know, you're bringing you're celebs coming to Bankery yeah well the, the stuff that they did for, for, for <clears throat> they do the talking. Have you noticed that? Oh, the yeah. stuff that the socks do has been really popular. Things, especially when they do anything to do with, they did Torchwood and anything to do with Doctor Who or cult TV shows. Those get loads and loads of viewers. And, and you can't do those live on stage because a normal audience has no idea what you're talking about if you do something about an arcane TV show. Right. So online, they get to do some really specialised uh, stuff. So people don't have to have seen you on YouTube before they come along? No, far from it. Right. The socks um, regularly will find themselves popping up and an audience will be absolutely dumbfounded the audience is usually when they're playing in comedy clubs are expecting stand-up comedians yeah, because yeah. that's the sort of place where the socks appear mm-hmm. um, apart from when we're doing uh, theatres and art centres mm-hmm. and the great thing about doing the theatre and an art centre is that they're able to do a 90 minute long show which means you get the best of their stuff because the socks have done four uh, Edinburgh Fringes which means a brand new hour of material every single time um, yeah. plus all the stuff they're coming up with all year round uh, so the best of the best and is it a show aimed at you know, a wide spectrum is it for, is it yeah. for adults it's, or got to remind everybody it's not a kids show right. that doesn't mean that it's ridiculously offensive there's a couple of sweary words near the end mm. and so 12 years old and over uh, we quite often get 10 to 11 year olds coming because they love the stuff online as long as uh, uh, PG, parental guidance, as long as you are prepared to explain to your kids afterwards what that sock was talking about when he was doing that routine about <laughs> Gary Glitter, for example, <laughs> just off the top of the head, that's the sort of thing they might mention, um, then, yeah, you'll be fine. Well, look, Kev F, this is the Scottish Falsetto Sock Puppet Theatre. And so am I, so is the... And, <laughs> you have to stop them doing that. And the socks. That's a Wood End Barn, Bankery, 8 p.m. I've got to speak fast to get this in, otherwise they, they chip in. On Saturday, the 26th of March, 2011, interview with a sock. Next week, interview with a pair of underpants. 